So. So, Rufus. John. So, Tim McMullen. Oh, uh, hey, Edmonton. I was wondering if you might tell me a bit about, you know, Neville's Island? Yeah. I've always thought you'd make a great Neville. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this play? Uh, well, it's um, Neville's Island. Hmm. I've heard of that. Have you? Yeah. Is it any good? Um, yeah. It's funny, because I was going to ask you about your character. Because <laughs> you're, in, Neville, you're wow. in Neville's Island as well. Four men, yeah. middle-aged men. You man, play one of them, I play one of them. Yeah, we, play, we both play one of them each. Yeah. There's sort of four guys on an island yeah. going on a journey, and they all have their separate journeys. So it's sort of... It's a proper it's, ensemble it's, piece. It sounds like a kind of uh, comedy premise. Or maybe a sort of thriller. I always have a problem, though, with the word journey. Do we not sound a little Did bit I like say journey? You said journey a lot there. That? I didn't say journey. Oh, I, I'm Horror thinking it's thriller. more comedy. Oh no, I'm not. I'm right. thinking. I'm thinking psycho thriller. Because there's only four of us. Because it's um, quite all, all small, male. quite intimate, all male. Well, you know, let's not. You know, <laughs> up the sisterhood. But I think there's a there's a shared understanding between the four yeah. men on stage. Yeah. I'm thinking it's a comedy with a dark edge. I'm thinking of a. Psycho thriller with a comic edge. I hear. <laughs> if you were stuck on an island in real life, yeah, um, and you had to choose a food that you could have, one food, pizza or hot dog, what would be your? You've asked a big question. I've asked there, a big you? one, yeah. Because what uh, flavour pizza? Put, uh, what type of hot dog? For a while, everything stays the same. Yes. And then it's gradually, very interesting. Then gradually, yeah. gradually. They go back to nature and they lose 20th century values. Yes. <laughs> and the power relationships change. Yeah. And right. in the end, there's a showdown between the one they thought was the weakest and the one they thought was the strongest. One of the first things when I talked to the director about doing the show and he explained the set, that was genuinely one of the biggest sort of plus points mm. in the column. Yeah. It sounded utterly magical. We've got the island, we've got proper trees, real trees yeah. that have been cut down from yeah, the and wild. Water. And a huge lot of water. We've got a lake. I think once you add like fog and lights and you know all of those things, it's just going to be remarkable. Acting. Yeah. Mm. Let's just let the fog <laughs> do most of that work. <laughs> but basically, it's funny. Um, yeah. And also, the other thing is, is there something else on the island? I think it's like putting Vaseline on a movie <laughs> lens, isn't it? If you do something in fog, you can sort of like. I think they were very good. It out. <laughs>